Hey everyone, I'm Angela Sawsville, the executive coach and therapist here, and I first want to acknowledge the fact that we've made it 244 days through this hot mess. When I think about how social I am and how few people I've actually gotten to see in person lately, I have to give myself some credit, right? And I hope that there's something you can give yourself some credit for as well. But as the virus is blowing up exponentially and our medical system is getting overwhelmed again, schools are shutting down and new restrictions are in place. And that means anxiety and depression are once again on the rise. So today I really want you to think about creating an action plan for your own wellness over the next few months because I think it's time to implement it. Now is a time for grit and perseverance and to really prioritize our own mental health. In the words of the late, great Stephen Covey, he said that highly effective people postpone what they want for right now for what they want later on in life. And I feel like a lot of us have been doing that quite a bit in 2020. But that comes up time and time again when it pertains to developing and maintaining healthy habits right now so that we can be the kind of person, have the kind of life we want to have in 2021. So a lot of people are really going to be hurting it next year when even after we have a virus there will be those people who have endured incredible amounts of trauma and loss outside of their control who will be hurting but i think there will be a second cohort of people who will also be in a fit state and those are the people who simply did a poor job of taking care of their emotional needs now during these dark winter months and for those folks, I want to encourage you, now is the time to get a therapist. Who cannot benefit from having a therapist during a pandemic? Now is the time to learn tools to monitor your thoughts so that you can decrease your depression and anxiety. Now is the time to have your own crystal clear set of rules that you follow when it comes to your relationship with alcohol and other substances. And now is definitely the time to force yourself to get your butt outdoors and stay physically active. Regardless of any of the obstacles, you need those endorphins and you know I'm right. So, what is your mental health plan and how soon can you roll it out? Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next week.